Hi, this is Kim, and welcome to your weekly readings from Expressions of the Universe and me. Um, astronomically wise, Mars will be going direct tomorrow, so that's your ego and your balls. Uh, if there's been something that you've been needing to say to somebody, I would say May 10th, which is Tuesday. Any time after that would be a good time. Although, with Mercury still being retrograde until the 22nd, uh, it may not come out the way you want it to. But I think you're going to get, a, you're going to grow a pair this week with Mars going direct. So I'm doing this on the fly this week. And, hmm, this one looks good. Let's see. Oh, mercy. So this is your card. Sorry if my nails are dirty. I've been in the garden all day. If you want to pause your screen, go ahead. Um, mercy is about, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, uh, showing people a little bit of kindness this week. I know I've been thinking some unkind thoughts lately um, for no apparent reason, actually. But, um,. I don't even have my glasses, so I don't know why I'm trying to read this, but go ahead and pause your screen. You can read what it says. That's going to be the energy for this week. So let's see what we have in the cards. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a pick three for all of you. I hope you're all enjoying a really lovely Mother's Day, whether you are a mother or a single father. Um, I saw a really beautiful story on Facebook today where one of my friends took her father out for ice cream. Her mother had passed away when she was a baby and her dad had raised her. And it was just the cutest, cutest picture in the world. Uh, he looked thrilled to have that ice cream cone and it really warmed my heart. Um, I'm missing my mom really bad today, but I don't know if you saw my post. On the last full moon, when I was doing full moon ceremony, I couldn't see the moon in, or the stars in the sky because it was really cloudy. And then they did eventually break and I saw it. But I heard my mom whisper in my ear and she said, just because, oh, let me back up. I'm like the moon and the stars on a cloudy night. Just because you can't see me doesn't mean that I'm not there. Um, and I have to keep remembering that, especially like on a day like today when I am missing her. And also my daughter has to work all day and night today. So I'm just here with all the puppies and the kitties and my flock of ducks. All right, so let's see. What do we have? Um, I'm going to take this one. For number one, we'll do this for number two, and we'll do this one for number three. All right, so do you want number one, or do you want number two, or do you want number three? Or you can have all of them. Okay, I'm not pausing my screen. I hope you made your choice. Number one is card number 35, and it's the loyal heart. This is true love absolute true love coming your way whether it's soulmate or a twin flame it's somebody that is near and dear to you um, extremely loyal <clears throat> doesn't even have to be a romantic love um, this is true love like even that for a mother for their child if you're a mom or you're a dad you know what that love is like I'm gonna say though because the, the owls are shaped like a heart I'm gonna say that this is soulmate true love. Somebody's going to fall in love this week or find somebody. Okay, so the next card, number two, if you chose this one, it's Treasure Island and it's reversed or in the protection position. Uh, your treasures are on hold right now. Just be patient. They are coming. This is card number nine. Nine means endings, also means action. Um, I'm going to take this card as you know the retrograde is really slowing things up for you 
that's where the action comes in with this being in that reverse position don't worry within a few weeks everything is going to be moving forward our first planet is going direct tomorrow and that's Mars just things are a little bit slow so you have to be patient now if you chose card number three it's card 33 which is ascended masters squared and it's chaos and conflict what do you have going on in your life obviously chaos and conflict um, it's a really beautiful card though see the it's like a zebra but it's a, a giraffe so you're not really sure what it is you've got the clouds in the background there's broken things on the ground so you chose card number three that to me means that all hell is breaking loose with you right now um, or it's about to don't worry hang on to your hats you know the what, what I always say is our lives are like a wheel and everything cycles and what goes up must come down and when it's down it has to come back up again so don't worry it's just a little blip a little road bump if you will so that's all I have for you let's just review these real quick once again we have the loyal heart which is true love we have treasure island in reversed uh, which is you know your plans are not going to happen as quickly as you want and then we have bum, 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 chaos and conflict don't get into a fight with anybody it's only going to disrupt your life it's going to create total chaos so that's all I have for you this week I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Mother's Day and get ready for my Sunday night shows. So I've got Penny Dreadful, Game of Thrones, Fear the Walking Dead, The Good Witch. Um, yes, I DVR all of them, and I will probably be asleep within an hour, so it's a good thing I do. I hope you all had a really great day. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos every week and reading my blogs and liking my posts on Facebook. I truly appreciate it. So from me to you, blessings. I love you. Have a great weekend and bye.